Sustainable energy strategies don't necessarily require high technology, as some year-round farmers in Warren County are demonstrating. Using some simple structures, they're eliminating both long-distance shipping and energy-intensive refrigeration. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The community-supported garden at Genesis Farm near Blairstown provides food for around 100 families every week all year. Most of our food travels 1,500 miles to get to our table. And here, you know, it's really for our neighbors. We're feeding our neighbors. Members take share in the risk of the farm, and they share in the bounty of the farm. Even with snow on the ground and temperatures around freezing, they're distributing vegetables from root cellars and harvesting fresh ones from so-called hoop houses, only one of which is heated. You know, it's really just a sheet of plastic over some metal bars. Three of the four are uh, inflated plastic. You know, there's two layers of plastic that has uh, air forced in between to prevent, to um, establish a, a barrier, uh, an insulated barrier. Solar panels power the fans and other electrical equipment in this part of the farm. The hoop house where they're harvesting kale requires no power at all, can be put up in a morning by two people, and is movable. We'll make the beds, we'll sow the kale, we'll grow the kale, we'll weed it and, and actually harvest a bit, and then later in the fall we'll actually come in and put that house over top of it. So that's extending that season. Part of the know-how that has to be cultivated to provide fresh local produce in the middle of the winter involves selecting plants like this one called mosh that are already adapted for life in the cold. Most of these greens will not grow at all in the summer. And those greens are Claytonia and mosh especially. Spinach also doesn't grow that well in the summer. And we choose hardy varieties, varieties of lettuces that really like cool weather. And a couple other greens that grow really nicely in the winter are mustard greens. And we grow something called tatsoi. Most of these greens can freeze and thaw with no apparent damage. Some taste better than they would in warmer seasons because the cold concentrates the sugars. Other crops pass the winter in root cellars, where warmth from the earth and cold from outdoors are balanced to keep the temperature just above freezing. The farmers here say there is still room for innovation in root cellars, where replacing earthen floors with concrete has made it easier to keep things clean, but harder to maintain the desired 95% humidity. Maybe there's some other way that you could design a root cellar that would allow for the moisture of the earth to come through and yet have a barrier to keep the, the rodents out. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Freeling Heisen Township.